Here's the crazy thing about the internet. Uh, you guys are time traveling. So I uploaded a video that was me and Jen doing the chili pepper challenge. After our friend Matt Funny Me Now did the chili pepper challenge after we challenged him to it, we did it back. What I haven't done it yet. Like this is the beginning of that night. Like we're gonna film it as soon as she gets off of work and upload it tonight, but this doesn't go up until tomorrow. Time traveling! How did I do? Am I dead? I tried a new bread recipe and I think it's gonna bust out of the seams because it still hasn't even started baking, I don't think. It has like an hour, an hour and 18 minutes left. Woo! I'm like raring to go tonight, I'm out in the garage. So these were the safety straps that came with those lights that I got. I think that they're strong enough to hold up the boat motor that's still in the trunk of this car. So what I wanna do is put a couple of screws over here and try to hang the boat motor from this region over yonder. I don't know, let's try it. All because Jen's like, get that thing out of the trunk of my car. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, I'll do it. I think that our dryer or washing machine finished. I always get out here for the last two notes of that. All right, I got my screws up there and my wires. I think that they're strong enough. It's, I'm, I was just pulling on that quite a bit, more than I think that that boat motor weighs. So, and there's two of them, so it'll spread the weight across. I think it should work. Well, I picked it up and I set it down over there to try to hoist it up here, and I'm like, it's standing up just fine right there. Why the heck do I need to hang it from the wall? Probably safer right there anyways. All right, so that's what I did. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put the screws down low and just put the strap across it so that it can't tip over. All right, we'll do that. People often ask me, Tim, what's the weather like down there in Florida? Go out in your garage, and if you're in there for five minutes and you start sweating like this, this is what it's like in Florida. There it is with the strap and everything, but I gotta chill for a minute, it's too hot out here. Oh, and I started my second month of insanity. Yeah, it's probably another reason why I'm sweating. I found that like after I work out, I'm still sweaty, like I'll dry off and take a shower and everything, but then like after I eat something, my body is like, oh, metabolize! And then I start sweating like crazy. So I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't know why I was telling you. Oh, because I started the second week, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my official weight, not like, I, we went to the science center and I got on that scale and it was like, you weigh a lot. And I was like, the heck with you scale, you're wrong. My official weight on the Wii, which I weighed on um, Tuesday, the day after we went to the science center, was 183 and I'd only lost uh, like 2.8 pounds or something, almost three pounds uh, because I was on the recovery week. I was working out very hard. So now I'm on week, month two, which is in crazy. So I'm hoping to lose more weight. And I, I, I pulled down my belly fat today and I could see a six pack just peeking out over the top of it. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm like flexing right now. This is out my front door. You guys remember yesterday when I called my neighbors that are over that way, jerks for parking in my grass. When we said that, we actually got out and left them a note. And we, I wanted to know what you guys thought if this was, like they didn't park on the grass today, which I think may have been from the note, but I'm not really sure. I wanted to hear what you guys thought. What we said was, please stop parking on our grass. We have been trying really hard lately to keep it nice. Thank you in advance, your neighbors, and then our address. Did that sound, and like a little smiley face. So it wasn't like we we're yelling at them. There was a smiley face. What do you guys think? Was that good or would you have said something different? Leave me a comment down below what you would have said differently if you would have. This may be the most perfect loaf of bread that I have ever made. Look at how like smooth that top is. All right, we got something special planned for you guys tomorrow. You guys just wait and see. Just wait and see. That was yeah. my like old man scare, scary like face. What did you think of my bread? I liked it. She doesn't even know. I just, I just showed it to her. I didn't. Nobody's tasted it or anything. I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. It smells like honey. It smells like honey. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price of dogs and salami. <laughs> metabolize. Metabolize. Hurr, hurr.